if you are watching this on YouTube and you're driving or you're trying to fall asleep and you want to listen to the audio only version, you can catch us on Spotify and Apple Music or anywhere else that you want to listen to podcasts. Hello, everyone. My name is Trevi Moran. And I'm Kate Laurentios. And welcome back to our podcast called Six Six Feet Feet Above. Above. I like that melody. You do? Yeah. Oh my God, we should record it. We should have a band. Well, we don't have like a fun, punchy intro yet. I know. What should it be? I don't know. Should I make it or should You got to get in the studio. No, do I got to like... Cook 100%. up in the lab. Please hook up in the lab. Yeah. It's not it's not like a hook yet. Were you a drunk texter? Um Ooh, I think I was. I think well, I was like not texting exes. I was I was like doing business deals and like looking up in the morning. I'm like, why did I Okay, you're not sit? relatable. No, 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 so no. So you no, didn't no. beg someone to come to your left foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Welcome back. Hey. Uh, how was your week? It was cute. It was cute. Um yeah, nothing to write home about. Besides about our you? fight? Besides our fight, we did get in our first fight, Loki. Loki? Yeah. I think was that I just, our first fight? I well, technically, probably the first time I like actually maybe upset you. But I don't think there was like I wouldn't have let it. It wasn't. Into yeah, a fight. it wasn't something that needed to blow up. But, but you blew it up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we fight. <laughs> we literally brawl. Um, and that's why no. you don't do business with friends. Exactly. No, I'm just <laughs> No, but I feel like ugh, fights are going to be inevitable if we're going to be doing this together. One thousand. But it wasn't even. It was like a moderate squabble. Well, I did it. I did a yeah. light ghosting. You did a. Ugh, I wouldn't say light, like medium, medium ghost. It would take you hours to respond to me, and then like or like a day, and I was like, all right, what's going I on? I did have an insane week though. My my. You did. But listen, my intention was not to be like, oh, I'm gonna ignore Kate. Like, I truly wanted to skip the episode this week because I was yeah. spiraling. And, and that wasn't a you y- thing. That was a me thing. No, I, and I totally knew that. So I was like, I know this isn't about me, but we need basic communication here. We need like, right. hey, I'm going through it. Stop texting me. <laughs> <laughs> In all caps, just send me that and I'll be yeah. like, noted. It's just like, a, you know how you can like do those, um, be typing like OMW, your phone changes it to on my On way. my way, exclamation point. I just want to change it to like... Kate, G- please stop like texting GTFO, me. <laughs> and it just types a huge paragraph. And honestly, that's something we should invest in later on. But for now, a simple text. A simple text. <laughs> Maybe a call. That would be crazy. Hey, but we figured it out. Okay, We're so here. you had a busy week. Let's hear about it. Damn, I've had a nutty week. So we figured it out, and we ended up doing an episode. It's going to be a little late, so yeah. we don't even have a day yet. that we We're like, figuring it out. We're figuring it out as we go. We we're don't so even have a jingle. Nary a jingle. Yeah. Nary a jingle. Nary. But we're going to find one. Yeah. Or, or we'll make one. Yeah. I need your folks on the track. Yeah. Freak, freak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so my week, or I'll just, I'll, I'll give an important update on the best thing I did this week. Okay. Um, do you know who Seth MacFarlane is? I do. Okay. Well, I heard of him, and then when you told me about it, I yeah, was like, yeah. oh, I didn't know he did that. Yeah, no, no, he's iconic. Like, yeah. he's so talented musically too. Like, fully classically trained at the piano. What? Does like, cause he like makes albums and sh- like he made a Christmas album um, with like Liz Gillies. He's but he, I think he has Grammys too. Like, this man is so talented. But not only does he do like literally every voice on Family Guy. He does. He did Ted, and he did oh, um, really. Yeah, he's voice of Ted, and he he's just he's iconic in just the film and music entertainment space. I somehow know this man. How do you know him? I know him through an industry friend um, from like 2016. So I've known him for a while now. Okay. Um, sporadically, of course. I'm not going to come on here and be like, this man is my best friend. But I would basically say that I'm relatively close with Seth. And every year he throws this massive holiday party mm-hmm. that I always look forward to. It's like, honestly, like the best party of the year, in my opinion, because... What's a better excuse to get dressed up in Christmas kind of attire? I was wearing red. It, it looked like a Chanel dress. It wasn't actually. I almost wore it today, but then I had an event to go to after this. I was like, uh oh. You're literally gossip girl. Not the double pose. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I'm there. I go to his his um well <laughs> I have a he tell he tells me he goes, um, you have a plus one, and then it says set with Siri, and I go, uh oh. Yeah. He's driving. Wow. At least For, he's responsible. 
crazy you didn't give me a plus one, but it's fine. Well, listen, bitch, crazy you didn't invite I me. I just asked you. I go, do you know who Seth MacFarlane in it is? And you go, well, no. I Not like until- a party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're coming with Once me. To, a month. You're coming with me to Puma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm over it. Okay, I'm sorry. Next year. It's okay. All, All your friends, friends are too. mad at you for not bringing you. <laughs> All of my friends. not you bringing them. Can well, I speak? No. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did get a lot of people very upset with me, including that one, that I decided to bring Miss Tana Mojo to Seth's party but I get, I get why you brought her right like she yeah. is obsessed with family guy like yeah. she talks about all the time that like family guy raised her saved her life she loves seth she loves ted she loves everything seth yeah so i texted her when she was in hawaii and i was like tell me i'm the best friend in the world she's like what i'm like tell me i'm the best friend in the world she goes you're the best friend in the world i send her the invite she flips her shit and i go that is a good friend it's a good friend and you know i loved that yesterday i was able to Call her my plus one. It what? was iconic. <laughs> I, go, I fully went at, at the check in. I go, uh, for Trevi Moran. And this right here is my plus oh one. Oh my God, you loved to, it. She, uh, she shit herself. It was so funny. I kept calling her my plus one the whole night. Okay, I love that too when I did that to you. You did do that. I got to, you got to be my plus one one time. You and intru- it felt really good. No, listen, you guys. Kate <laughs> introduced me to Smashbox Cosmetics. And she literally got a campaign after she went. You're welcome. No, because thank you. I owe my actual life to you. <laughs> no, I love to see um, my girls win. No, I and love to we, see it. We do, we do. Um, well, you you modeled for Smashbox, right? I did. They like randomly DM me, and they were like, "You want to be part of our global marketing campaign?" And I was like, "Don't it's know always why. global. Don't know why you DM me, but okay." <laughs> and then they invited me to that event, and I was like, "I'm bringing Trevi," and you. Schmoozed. I left with a deal. Yeah, you left with a deal. <laughs> You left with a deal. No, but, but you're you're so good at influencer events. I feel like I'm so awkward. I just like pull I think up. I think it made so much sense for us all to be there. It for did me and you to be there. Like, but it's like it's so, like everyone looks so good, and I'm just like, do I go up to people and talk? Like, I don't know what to do. No. Anyways, um, okay. You pull up. You got a plus one. Yeah, yeah. So we walk in. It's this gorgeous winter wonderland, um, and. Tana's face is just like seeing like a just like a a happy baby or a kid in a candy store. It was amazing. That's cute. And you start to see like some of the iconic guests show up. Oh, okay. So I don't want to like empty out or like air out. I feel like they everyone knows. Like they probably posted pictures there. It's not like I don't think so. I I honestly think the only people that were posting were the influencers. Was Jack Harlow there? No. At least I didn't see him. You would have put in word for me. But check this one out. Check this one out. Check this one out. First of all, let me give a preface. I love this person. Me and Kate both grew up watching this person. Um, what? Who? Bill Nye, the love science Bill guy, Nye. <laughs> was there. And He's like an influencer for real. I mean, he influenced the whole world with science. He did. He changed my life. <laughs> Everyone had a crush on Bill, him. Bill, Bill, Bill. No, because why was he f***able? He was high. No, because... I'm going to be the first one to say no, it. and I'll be the second. Thank you. Why was Bill Nye f***able? And I would say that as a youth, and no one would back as me up. Youth. No one would back me up. <laughs> <laughs> you start throwing up. I'm having okay. an asthma attack. Uh oh, yeah. Fun fact, everyone. I have asthma. Hmm. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. mm. Anyway, yeah. so anyway, so we see Bill Nye. She flips. She flips out. I'm like, oh, sh-. and then we're like, kind of talking. And then, like, as I turn around, he, like, gets really pissed about something, and he, like, spits on the floor. What? Like, in disdain? <laughs> At this part, he spits on the floor. You're like, Wait, what was he mad about? I don't know. I, I mean, I would, I would be like, hey, Bill, what did you spit on the You're floor like, for? Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, so what's the... Uh, What's the angle of the velocity of that? Like, it's going all science. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he'd be impressed. I'm like, wow, so how many blank, blank, blank cells are in the mitochondria of your saliva? And that's a good question. Yeah. Because I want to know. And he'd answer it. Did he show up alone? No, I think he was with, he was definitely with people. Like, is he single? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, But as soon, like, I'm not kidding you, not even 30 seconds after Bill and I spit on the floor. A cleaning crew rushed to clean up the no. one bit of saliva. Like it, it was, uh, it That's was straight so out of a movie. Up. I don't messed like up. That. Why are you spitting on the floor? It's so disrespectful. 
I, mean, I love Bill. They could. Be, I don't know him. They could be really close, and maybe it's a funny thing, or maybe it's a ritual that he does to have a good night. To I don't spit know. on the floor. <laughs> you never know why. You this... really see the good in people, and I love I, that. I just try to play devil's advocate. But yeah, I don't know the context of why Bill and I spit on the floor. That's um, so true. We never know. Oh my I, god, if I wasn't sober and I went to that party, I don't know I how been, I like, stayed shot now. Like yeah, I would have been well, terrible. That was my first time going to his holiday party sober. Were you scared? Um, yeah, but I also haven't seen him since I transitioned. And the first thing he said to me when he saw me, he's like, wow, he like looked me up and down. He's like, this just fits your, your soul so much better. And I was like, that, like, that is so beautiful. That's the best compliment I think I've ever received this year. Imagine like, cause it's like, oh, you look great or you look good or your makeup's great. It's like your entirety fits your soul. Like, how did that feel? I came. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. No, yeah, I was it was very it was very nice. I love Aww. him and if you're watching this, I love um, him too. Sorry for airing you out for views. So, how was your week besides the mild ghosting? Um, <laughs> I mean, it was literally fine. I kind of want to hear ruined it. I yeah. <laughs> you absolutely ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Kate and I have been editing together. <laughs> and every time I'm like, well, I should never speak. I should just <laughs> literally never speak. <laughs> Dude. Ever again? We, okay, so how do we explain this? To, I'm sorry, I don't. I'm. I really want to hear about your week, but we have nothing to... happened. I oh. want to hear more about this party. Like, who gives a shit about my week? Nothing happened. <laughs> what was that mean of me to say about myself? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't fit I'm your like, doesn't fit your soul. Yeah, it doesn't fit my soul. I'm just like literally nothing. I can't think of anything that happened. That's did you do Pilates? I did. Okay. I did Pilates. Um, training to be an instructor. I love that. Everyone, um, if you live in LA and when Kate becomes an instructor, you have to take her class. Yeah. Please I don't make- mob. Yeah. Sign up. Get in the queue. There's already a huge list. <laughs> selling out fast. It is selling out fast. I haven't got my certificate yet, but there's a wait list. Yeah. Um, <laughs> dude, I deleted Raya. No. Like, I just like, I can't do it anymore. It's bad. I, I think see, we've yeah. matched with some of the same people because when I match with people and it says in common, KL, Always Trevi M. No, because why? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I always X them out because I'm like, through osmosis, this wouldn't be a girl's girl move of me. Through osmosis? <laughs> well, you could so also like just... someone that has like someone thing in common with you because I just assume you've matched with them. So I'm No, like, but it's nope. also like, I may know the person. So. I'm not taking that risk. But you can always, you can't screenshot and show me. Exactly. And then but you can always work. send me over their Instagram. I deleted it. I deleted it. I can't do Raya. I can't do dating apps. I'm done dating. Really? I'm hanging out with that guy Thursday, but after that, I'm done. Kate? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> no. After so that, you, no, no, I'm no. done. I call Kate today. I go, have you seen that man? She goes, well, you know what? Not. I'm not going to answer your question, but I will say he's an avid fan of our podcast. He, he literally always watches it. And he's like, watching your pod right now. Why'd you have to say that about me? I'm like, because you suck. But you I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Life is a highway, Trevi. I but always you've tell you that. You've literally been writing it all night long, and you yeah. end up with fissures. <laughs> <Okay, stop. laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> when we edit, basically, this is what I was saying. When Kate and I edit, we are very humbled because yeah. the sounds that come out of our, <laughs> our mouth are so bizarre. We were talking about Boston. I don't even know if we kept it in. I don't yeah. think we did. We're talking about Boston, and then out of nowhere, I'm like, I'm like staring off into the distance, and I just go, wah, wah. And I go like this, I'm like, <laughs> and then it's just like, <laughs> we, we're like, why did we? Um, so if you wonder why we, we cut some parts of this podcast, yeah. it's really, it's not, you're not missing much. You're just missing. You're I'm, missing we're going to get, let's get better at not cutting so much. Yeah. We need to just be like present and any blah, blah, or oh, yes, that come oh. out, we have to keep them. Do we though? No. Okay. I've been doing some happy off my chest lately. And I I'm haven't. Just, yeah. And I never will. I, well, maybe we should switch. I mean, I, I'll just say, I'll say it fast, but I have been like looking for management for a while now since my old manager, Angelica, passed away. And I've like had instances where I've gotten with people and we just didn't end up being good fits, but I've been longing a long term relationship with someone who believes in me. And I finally, I finally did. With a oh, great, fabulous yes. team. That's so, so exciting. I'm, I'm very happy. I think that that's my off my chest. My off my chest? I was just thinking about it. This has been heavy on my heavy on my heart. So I make a lot of like 
tall content on TikTok okay. just about how like men always lie about their height to me. So like I'm six feet tall, so they'll be like, you can't be six feet because I'm six feet and I'm literally You're five ten. I'm literally looking at the top of their head. Right. I'm like, what are you talking about? So without fail, every time that I post about men lying about their height, I never say that being a short man is bad. Because as we know, I'm into that. You're into that. So I never talk about that. And without fail, so many men comment being like, well, wait till I bring out the scale. Like, wait till like you step on a scale. Oh, or that's like, like their ha ha yeah, yeah. And I'm like, first of all, I can't remember the last time I gave a literal sh Look at how perfect she is. Look at like, look at how perfect she is. That doesn't mean anything. But it's like, I <clears throat> wish I gave a if men found out how much I weighed. Like I stepped on a scale the other day. I'm 200 pounds. Work. But you, it's okay? also proportions, right? Literally. We're tall as fuck. And I'm like, I don't care. So like you weaponizing weight against me is so weird to me, especially when I never even say that being short is bad. All I say is that you're lying about your height. Yeah. Which you are. And now they're they're lying that they're not into six foot patties. <laughs> Because everyone lies about that. Everyone lies. They the, say they don't want a six foot, 200 pound baddie. And to that, I say, you're a liar you're, and you're a thief. You're a cheat. Yeah. <laughs> you're a loser. You're manipulate. Yeah. What? You manipulate. <laughs> you manipulate. No, every day, it rolls every off the date I've been on, no. literally. <laughs> <laughs> manipulate. Manipulate. 100%. Speaking of dates, tell us about your date with that tall man. Yay! <laughs> I don't know why you're scared Wait, to talk about men. I'm test? so ready Oh, yeah, it was just you were... Just that yeah. men are always like, step on the scale, bitch. And I'm it's like, stupid. I will. I will. I don't care. It's stupid. I mean, it's always the faceless... The faceless markers Literally. on TikTok comments. Private. You click on their thing. Private profile. Private. Yeah. And they're always following you. Always. I'm like, why follow? This didn't walk? come from FYP. This came from following. Yeah. Yeah. It's giving fans. nose is dripping again. Damn, we gotta get you tissues. I'm having this problem with uh, cane. <laughs> no, I've been having this this issue. Okay, so I had a molar removed. It was like a molar that wasn't growing in. It could, couldn't grow in because it was like fused with a wisdom tooth or something. I had this removed like in the beginning of October this year. And it's so close to my sinus cavity that I like think that something happened. Oh. Um, because right after I was healing from the surgery, I got a sinus infection. And now every time I do my makeup, I have to like plug my nose up with tissue so it doesn't drip all over my makeup. Like not oh, me literally, serious problem. not me literally leaking. Like, Liter and you're not even doing drugs. But you know, well, it. yeah, you know, got a little, little wild at sets. <sighs> okay. Come were there on a lot? Now. Were there a lot of drugs there? Like, did you I see didn't see anyone drugs? doing drugs. No. Okay. No, no, no. It wasn't like, oh my god, all the girls in the bathroom, everyone pinkies out. Mm, ah! So classy. So it's it's becoming so annoying. Like I I will yeah. not go to the bathroom with a group of girls anymore. I that sucks. It's so fun doing that. But they're all doing blow and ketamine. No, I mean like you know like the culture growing up. That's you go fine. to the well, girls' room. Well, it's going to the bathroom in like Barney's is different, and I will use that as a reference because you all the girls Barney's. go in the the. It's a public bathroom. It's not like one bathroom. I don't like that. When yeah. everyone goes in the same stall and starts doing drugs, I'm like, yeah, this is stupid. Yeah, the f doing? and then my friends are like, why are you being so weird? Come in the stall. I'm like, do you guys forget that I'm a f no? Drug literally, addict? you guys just want me to sit there and like watch you. You want you want digitals? Right. Like you want yeah. me to take pictures? You, no, I, I like, always leave the room. I feel so awkward. I'm like, I'm just staring at you doing drugs. I feel creepy. Well, and it's also like, people don't take into the fact that that might hurt your feelings. Like that low too. key, like, I don't like. Hate to use the word triggered because it's so politicized and like seen as like weird and yeah, whatever. I just like to like the word like it hurts my feelings sometimes when I watch that. Not only because I know that like a lot of people in my life low key struggle, but it's also like I don't want to see that. I yeah. I went through that right, and you would like expect people to be like, oh, let's not bring her in here. Change my mind. That's my off my chest. I don't okay. want to come with you in the bathroom stall. Five girls. Don't want to do it. Put your cat bag away. You're going to hurt my feelings. That's Period. my off my chest. 100%. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. That's a real off my chest. Yeah. I used to feel that way when people would send me Snapchats of them drinking in the beginning of sobriety. Ugh. Like similar thing. They're like, crazy night. And I'm like, I'm literally trying not to You're like, to I'm literally in detox right yeah, now. Yeah. Like. Do you want to hear about my date? Yeah. I kind of briefed Kate on this. I wouldn't call it a date. I mean, I guess I would call it a date because I didn't hook up with him and it was very like conversational. 
But we were just hanging out. Sounds like marriage. <laughs> this man was six foot ten. Where did you find him? We matched on Bumble. You love Bumble. I, I'm a Bumbler. Yeah, you are. I, I think that there's a lot of hot, normal guys with, like, normal jobs. Like, you go on Raya, it's like, they're they're always an artist DJ. somehow. They're always an actor. They're always yeah. a DJ. And I'm like... Freelance. I'm like, okay, but your parents are funding you. 100%. I'm in heels when I first meet him. Already just beyond taller than me. I'm 6'3", 6'4". I'm 6'3", 6'4", in heels, right? Mm-hmm. Hot. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's already six inches taller than me in heels. I'm not a huge height person. You could be the same height as me, maybe even an inch or two shorter. But when you get me next to someone that tall, I'm feral. You I didn't do it. anything, but I loved it. Mm-hmm. I, I took off my heels because we just ended up watching a movie. We didn't do anything. We watched a movie at my house, mm-hmm. chilled. Cuddled up a little bit. Yeah, no no hooking up. And he's probably watching this, which is like embarrassing, so I'm sorry. Um whatever. But oh my god, when I when I took off my heels and and I said goodbye to him, I like hugged him. I felt like the teeniest teeniest, Oh my god, you must have felt so dainty. I felt like the teeniest little girl that ever would exist on the planet. And you liked the feeling. Oh my god. Because I never get to feel tiny. Every room I walk into, I am taller than everyone. Yep. Like when I go to this event after this, I'm going to take charge of that room, 100%. which is great. Yeah. Sometimes it is nice to feel petite. I felt like a petite blonde. Yeah. I was transformed. Yeah. But it's like you felt like a petite blonde, but you have a, the personality of a bad bitch six foot gal. A six foot and ginge. when I tell you... Transginger. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, I dated someone that was 6'7". I felt petite all the time. Wow. Yeah. Not 6'10". It's a competition. Oh, yeah. No. (sighs) Please. But, yeah, it was... Honestly, honestly, I did have a great time. I don't know where it's going. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to, like, feel that one out. But I will say, though, that was an experience to just, like... my, My head was, like under his his nipples like it, God, it's so rare for us it, no, was he, he skinny no he's he's ripped okay. he was insane it's great though it was fabulous i'm so proud of you yanni <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching <laughs> no because i miss him um so did, did yanni see you um shout him no, out no i don't think he follows this podcast Liar. literally the only person I'm literally I know. the most famous person <laughs> in the world he, of course he does <laughs> No, he follows you, not me. Um, do you have his Insta? I do. Can I follow him? Of course. <laughs> Wait, can I send him a message? <laughs> and say what? Can I send him our last pod episode? <laughs> and say skip to blank minutes? Like right now while we're here. Okay. No? <laughs> you know what? I mean, yeah, you can. I'm never going to see him again. Unless he <laughs> Unless. responds. No, yeah, you can absolutely What if he sues that. you for defamation, though? I don't know. He's Greek me saying that like it means anything um i just don't think he cares no he's over me which is crazy which is crazy because look how hot you look thank you but yeah we're moving on you know two years later (laughs) right i was like not even sober when you met him literally i think i was like just like three months sober yeah crazy would you say that like you usually make the first move with men or you let them make the first move or what's your thing Ooh, that's a good question okay I have before. A lot of times it's very successful. I don't yeah. realize how, and I'm not saying all men, and I'm not saying that this is a bad thing, but a lot of men do get nervous. Yes. Especially around us. I Well, we're a little intimidating, but yeah. I get like, I f***ed a lot, and I'm like, I always like, I f*** them back to let them know. I'm like, hey, come on over. Yeah. You, you know? love to stare back. I like can't even. I can't even oh, look I'm at them. Oh, I'm a stare. And you smile. How do you know that? Because you tell, I'm like, I'm always watching you. <laughs> no, you tell me, you're like, yeah, I smiled at this guy. And I was just like, that's crazy. Like, I can't imagine looking at a guy and smiling at him. Yeah. Well, like, for instance, Drake, 33-year-old after party. Mm. Or His name's not Drake. It was after It was, after it was party. Drake's after yeah, party, yeah. 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 He, I haven't spoken to him since. Who, Drake? I don't know Drake. <laughs> when I saw, when I made, I can't believe I'm still in love with this man. He doesn't give a flying f- about me. I'm not in that's love with so him. That's so us. I'm <laughs> We I'm not in love with him. I'm just back. in love with like 
the way he is in bed. It's so addicting. That's so valid. It's so like. And he's hot. I get it. So and we glamorize these men. Ah, oh, and it's so like we're the problem too because we keep letting them get yeah. over. But if you had a conversation with him for more I, than no, an hour, I feel like you wouldn't like him. I have, and I, oh. he tells me all the time. He goes, "I'm not interested in dating. I still want." Um, yeah, we always want what we can't have. Yeah. So anyway, the way I met him, he was staring. I stared back. Called the fattest Escalade ever because I was out. I was going to the after party. Trevi loves an Uber Black. Well. <laughs> Only for, like, events in nighttime or when it's raining. I got so much better. Took a camera here. Humble I've Well, just since I got the house, I've been, like, having to be better yeah. about, like, the sh- I'm spending. I'm trying to grocery shop more, doing less Postmates. Mm. Little things here and there. It saves a lot. It does. It does. But um, I wanted to impress this man, so I called the fattest Escalade. Mm-hmm. And it pulls up. And he's still staring. He's not doing a goddamn thing. I'm like... Man up. Yeah, no, literally. So I step on, you know how like the bigger cars, they have like a step stool. Like yeah. you step up and then you get into the car. I stand on the step. I go. <gasps> you do the hair flip. I do the hair flip. And I basically, I stare at him and I go. What? I've never done that in my entire Wait, life. Wait, say and what And it was the ballsiest the thing because it was people. the only thing I could think of. What am I going to do? Shout, hey, dude. No. Yes. He's still staring at me. Like aggressively pointed, boom, boom, boom. And then he goes like this. This is the best part. This is the best part. He goes, <gasps> he looks behind him, thinking I'm pointing at someone else. He's and, the I, and I go, one. no, you. <gasps> I like lift. I go, no, you. Come this here. Sh- Walks over. I step down from the Escalade in the mm. heels in the cute little pink IMG address. Mm. Glam was on 10. And I go, you're so handsome. He goes, you're so beautiful. He goes, can I get your number? And that's where the heartbreak began because joke is on me because he ended up being a motherfucker. That's always how it goes. Yes. I, he couldn't even have the balls to come say hi to me. And now, what is it? Yeah. I'm a whole? <laughs> <laughs> hey, some more than that. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's the thing. No, no, no. Wait, let me re say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was agreeing with you. I was like, sometimes is really really important and good and you know to to live out your kinks or fantasies or whatever i really enjoy doing that with him i just like he's so high just like oh should i could have him to myself yeah you know he you like it like rough though right <laughs> <laughs> well i'm just saying like something no, that- wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? oh my mother watches this yes i do i do I but do. like here's the thing I used to think I did, and before I got sober, I was like, "Like throw me out a window and all that stuff." Actually, and now I'm like, I like it soft. Maybe that's because you're an AA and I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I- <laughs> <laughs> something to unpack another day. But here's the thing: we should be making the moves first, because no tea, no shade. Ninety-five percent of the time, it's going to work for us. Right. Well, like, let's get. Into- I want to get more into the conversation of. How we like sex. I think this is interesting. Oh, okay. But yeah, to make a long fucking story short. Yes, Kate, I do like it rough. How rough though? Like punch in the face or like slap? <sighs> oh my God, my mother watches this. She's so cool though. I feel no, like she, she, is, she is. She is. She is. But I feel like my father also does. Here's the thing. You're, and, gro- you're a grown ass woman. I am a grown ass woman. So for any of my family members who are watching this, I would suggest maybe just skipping. Skip. A little bit. Um, Please. But yeah, I love a good little like, like a little slap. Mm-hmm. Not a little. Like hard. Yeah. I, I've had I will with a bruise on my boob before. Is it... They love to slap a tit. Yeah, why? I, I, don't, don't I don't like know. it. I don't like no. it. I like getting slapped in the face. It's like invigorating. <laughs> it's it is. It's like a rush of it's adrenaline. It's a rush of adrenaline. Do you like a foot in your mouth? No. Me neither. Um <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What are your kinks? Just then? If I'm answering my, my kinks, why can't you answer yours? <laughs> this is an interview. I'm yeah. I'm not saying anything. No. Um, so you like it soft. Well, listen, I was watching a movie the other day and I was like, oh, it was this couple and they were married and they were like making love. And I don't think I've ever made love before. So, But I feel I, like you could make love and have it be rough at the same time. But, but listen, the reason I prefer to have it rough mm-hmm. and not to like have a passionate or make love moment, I 
get attached. Mm. So if there's any like eye contact where it's like looking at me, telling me how beautiful I am, I this pussy belongs to you. Yeah. Here's the thing. If I kiss a guy, I'm attached to him. So me too. I'm screwed from the start. I'm, I'm like, it doesn't matter what we do. I'm going to. So imagine eye contact and someone like being like, ah, oh, well, it's not saying I'm like, I don't have eye contact, but like. Yeah. And then you can't stop seeing them. And that's what I'm dealing with right now. Your fissure situation. The, yes. Like. Right. He's really. Why don't you open up about that a little <laughs> bit? Because it's like. It's a, <laughs> I hate that I talk about him because he watches it. Well, stop listening. No, no um, stop. The thing about him is like, he's really opened my eyes sexually and like has shown me things that i never thought i'd like like a foot in your mouth (laughs) no he's never put a foot in my mouth (laughs) i've definitely put my foot in his mouth really no 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 i'm not king shaming yeah yeah yeah. you you gotta do what you gotta do um so wait so what other things did he open sexually for you uh hmm that's such a good question anal uh, <laughs> no, you've always why am loved, I getting nervous? You love it. I know. No, I um, did well, it you for can, the, You can make it seem like it's a, a different guy. I did it for the first time with him. So I, he, he, you, yeah. you opened Pandora's your poop box. shooter to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to embarrass you, dude. That's my job. I, you want to move on? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting so shy about this. Um, Probably because he watches it. Listen, man, that I don't know your name. Stop around yeah with my girl kate all right i don't know what that entails <laughs> i don't know if she's crazy she is a little crazy yeah but you, you don't also, know what i'm doing you also sound like you don't know what you want so you need to make it very f-ing clear yeah or else you guys i'm gonna have to separate you two like i'm like, begging no please that's why i try to embarrass you on here so this no ends. i'm like how he saw me say i'm in love with a greek man and we're still hanging out thursday but wait really quick on porn you know i was addicted to it i might be yeah, I didn't know that I was. <laughs> my friend. I might be. No, like, I think everyone well, is low key. I mean, that's that's a lot. But my friend had a severe addiction and he was watching it every day and, like, touching himself 10 times a day. Oh, no, I'm like one no, time no, no. a day. No, no, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's not me. But I had a boyfriend at the time and I couldn't get off with my boyfriend unless I was thinking about porn. And I found out that that means I'm addicted. So I haven't watched it in like two years. Right. And it's really improved everything. But not shaming you for watching it because everyone. Yeah, does. no, I, I, I can get off with someone. They, they just have to do the things that I watch. Yeah, which is like, are you scared to ask people that? No. Okay, I love Most that. Most guys are really into like being rough. Yeah, they, are, they love hitting a woman. <laughs> they love it. I'm like, why are you so into this? No, but it's also like obviously probably something that happened in my early years. Oh, a thousand percent. That, that I like. In, in manifesting in a different way. It's something as a way to of unpack, coping. but yeah. you know what? Well, this part's probably getting cut. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so back to a first move. I made a first move once, and I kind of realized that I should never do that again. Why? Because I'm, like, negative Riz. I went up, I saw this guy, and he was stretching, and he looked, like, really cute before he went on a run. Oh, wow. And That's so, the best when they're, like, wearing, like... Yeah, yeah, the, the, What's the, the little leggings that they wear? The and with compression. the shorts over them. Oh, it's so, so hot. hot. And Why was, is it so hot? I don't know. I don't know. And that, like, Under Armour shirt that's, like, kind of tight. Oh, my God. And then you can see that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so straight. And the Crocs. I'm so... Anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes it works. Yeah. But he was stretching, and I was with my friend Gabby. Okay. And I was like, he's so cute. And she was like, go talk to him. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to. Because I never do this. Right. And so, <clears throat> deep breath in, and I go up to him, and I was like, hey, you better go on a run. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes, yeah, and runs away. And Gabby was like, listen, that was really painful to watch. And I said, yeah. So I was like, let me get better at this. Well, so I had a crush on my acting teacher. So I texted him two days ago, and I said, I felt compelled to tell you this. I had a crush on you in class. How old was this man? Um... At the end of the day, 56. Um, okay. But listen, he was really cute. He did, in fact, say, have fun and be safe with a heart. And you know what? At the end of the day, <laughs> here's what we're going to do in 2024. If we have a crush on someone, we're going to tell them. Because yeah. the worst they can do is say, have fun and be safe. The worst thing happened. Well, and it's also like, no one's going to be like, ew, you're disgusting. Unless they're like an actual asshole, then the trash will take itself out. Exactly. If someone's going to be like, oh, 
have fun, be safe, or I'm I'm not single, or I'm just not interested in doing that right now, or I'm gay, or whatever the f- situation yeah. may be. It's better to open up, because you never know. You never know. Like, where were you when you when you said hi to that that man who was about to run? I was walking into a Halloween party. Where? In like Beverly Hills. He might have been gay. He probably was if he rejected me. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, but here, literally. <laughs> no, but like literally, who cares? Because I feel like we're so scared of getting rejected because we're like, what does that mean about me? But it's like it's nothing. nothing. No, it does not it's matter. Nothing. You literally said this last episode. We're on a spinning blue rock. Who gives a shit? Yeah, and it's. Uh, I'm going to do that tonight. When I go to this event, I'm Please. Gonna, yeah. Because they'd be lucky to even breathe in your direction. And I feel the same about you. <sighs> Wow, I'm. I feel so happy that you you said that. I thought we were just moving past this topic, and I'm like really happy that you you let that one out. Thank you. That was it's, really good. It's just kind um, of my truth. Yeah, of course. I'm done holding back. I'm done. Like I got a crush on you. I'm gonna tell you. Well, I mean, I I also said this to you. It's like I want 2024 just to be like where I'm. I'm not holding back from like anything I say, even if it's yeah. controversial or I'm afraid I'll like it'll upset people. Like when I'm doing the podcast, like. Not everything I can say can appeal to every single person. Like, yeah. I ha- like I have a lot of opinions, and I have controversial opinions, and I've always been afraid my entire life because I just started working as a kid. Like, I don't, I've never said something that's semi like or done yeah. anything that's like semi. You've always been. I've on always the right been very side. like media trained, and I'm like, it's not that I want a scandal. No. It's just that I think it's important to share opinions that I feel like matter to me and I'm not to be scared of faceless profiles or people yeah. who maybe disagree with me politically or disagree with me about trans issues, sobriety. Like there's so much, mon- so many things that I'm passionate about. You have shit to say for sure. And, and so we want to hear it. Yeah. It's not happening today. Yeah. <laughs> we're all. like slowly building up. To yes, that. of course. I, new years. I know that we're probably going to have a few more episodes before new years and we can expand on this, but we really felt passionate about this and we wanted to talk about New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day stories. Like mm. New Year's Eve, right? Big parties? Yes. Okay. New Year's you- is always the worst night of my life. Really? I, I- There's so much hype. It's like a birthday. You want to have the best night ever. It sucks. Do you want to? Do you have a New Year's story? You that- go first because I can't think okay. of one right now. To paint the picture, it was 2016. Mm. Simpler times. Yeah. Or maybe it was 2015 turning to 2016. I think it was that. It was 2015 turning into 2016. And this was like, I was I was just moving to LA. Like I was getting to know all the like cool kids and getting into the party scene. And I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, I know how I'm going to make all these bitches love me. There was like, for some reason, there was no like huge New Year's plan that year. Like no one like was talking about the same thing. There, there didn't seem like there was a big situation okay. like you know how like, people talk before and they're like what's the what's the move what's the yeah. move and i just was like i am the move oh, i'm gonna I start that i'm gonna start my own party and i don't care how much it's gonna cost me i'm 16 years old wait where were you living uh studio city with my brother that is so stressful i know so i rented a mansion oh my God. for the night it was like five grand and You're a good friend. I it was it was hell to rent this house because not only was I 16, I had to have I forgot who I had sign it off. It either must have been my business managers or my parents. I don't remember. But I'm like I'm throwing the biggest fucking rager like Project X. And I ended up having 300 400 people oh my apply God. to that list and it ended up being about like 6 700 people that got into this house. I had to hire security all around the house. What? The entire house was filled. That was the first time I ever did Molly. <gasps> Someone gave me it was like the Molly Rocks. So like he's like, yeah, just just can chew it up, swallow it. I did Molly for the first time that night. Not kidding. It was probably the best night of my <gasps> teenage. You had fun. You weren't it stressed? Great. It was great Molly. I don't think I even in my like later addiction years, adult years, like I only did Molly a few times in my life. Yeah. That time was the first time is always the best time. Mm-hmm. And I think 
and I've said this before, like, that's kind of what addiction is all about. It's like you're trying to, like, recreate this moment. Oh, yeah. Like, I know, like, for me with Kay and for alcohol, it's like all, there's all these moments that you have that are so positive and they're attached yeah. to this drug. And you're like, oh, well, if I continue to, to do this. Yeah. I, I just talked about this on Cancel. It might be out by now or it'll be out soon. But it's like you're trying to recreate this memory and it's just interesting. But you're fighting for your life to recreate we had like, 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 I swear to God, Stasi Baby showed up. And I think Kendall, I think um, like the Jaden Jaden Smith, I think um, it's hard because I was like blacked out. I'm just listening to like what my friends were telling me. Uh, you had every influencer at the time, every like 2015, 2016 influencer was there. It was nuts. A week later, I got an email from the people who do the house, oh and God. they're suing me for oh. 40 grand. <gasps> and I'm like. So I call my lawyer. I'm like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why are they suing me? We went over the capacity, which put the house in danger. Yeah. Left an insane mess, even though I hired my own cleaning crew, like six people to come. In the, like, thing, the attachment on the email of, like, reasons why they're suing, apparently someone in the upstairs bathroom smeared their tampon. Shut up. On the wall. You animal! What is wrong with you? Yeah, I probably so, did the same thing. It was probably just you. It was probably me. On a, yeah. on a quick LA trip in 2015, <laughs> um, and I'm like, well, damn, that is pretty fucking awful. You're like, but me. other than that, I'm like, I will pay for the painters. I will pay for the biohazard shit. I'll pay to sanitize the house. Oh, someone broke into one of the bedrooms that wasn't supposed to be unlocked. It was like little shit, but I'm like, you have to be so for real right now i will handle all the issues but 40 grand is crazy that's crazy and then we basically kind of them back how told them you rented a house out to a 16 year old and they backed away i was away. gonna say yeah. they probably thought they could fuck with you because yeah. you're 16 but you were like no yeah so <gasps> it's kind of shitty, but i ended up sending them a little bit to fix everything but yeah. i did not and send them 40 grand 40 grand is insane yeah but it was a rager and I, I would love to throw a party like that again i love watching chaos unfold as long as i got my my main hose with me like, okay, but if i got you what at your house though Fuck no not oh, my house i would it. rather you like r- like throw an ev- like i love throwing events and throwing parties or being a part of it we're so different such I'm a passion like, project hell no well i don't like shit, like birthday dinners or dinners or like things that i have to entertain people to like yeah you get very like, stressed about very, that i do very intimate settings i can't do but if I, it's like a party and i have people working the party like security and people checking the guests and shit like that like i feel like it's handled it's out of my control then i'll have fun that I have oh, yeah. to do, like my birthday this year. Oh yeah, it was a dinner, right? Two or three fucking dinners, and like you didn't it was like just. It? I just don't. I I feel like I have to entertain everyone, and when we're at the club, I'm like, I remember I always ask you, I'm like, are you having a good time? Anytime we go out together, Trevi's like, are you having fun? Are you mad? Like, are you having a bad time? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I I have to. You work. get so stressed. I have to work on that. You do, cause I'm like, I'm always gonna be miserable if I'm out, <laughs> no matter course. what. But no, of course. Um, no, you're fine. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. We did that. Do you have a story? For throwing a party or, or New Year's? New Year's. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, 2016, I remember I cried on New Year's because Rihanna's going to die someday. Bawled my eyes out. Um, okay. And then... Well, we're going to her party on Friday. We are! Yeah. I hope she's there. I hope so, too. She but might I'll be. keep She'll my cool. Be there. I will keep my cool if I see her. Yeah. And I will cry in private. But um, I'm trying to think of my New Year's story. Okay, so my friend is throwing a party. I'm still drinking at the time. Last week, and, yeah. <laughs> um, I am so excited for this New Year's party. Like, I got a push-up bra from Victoria's Secret. Yeah. I went to Nordstrom. I like spent so much money on a little dress. And I'm like, this is going to be the best night of my life. I start drinking at like 3 p.m., obviously. Duh. I drink two Four Locos. No. At 3 p.m. And that's crazy, but I was like, I'm really tall, so it's going to be fine. I go to the party. I go to like at the first party and whatever. I'm like drunk. It doesn't matter. But then I go to my friend's party and she invited me. Like we were friends a while ago, but we weren't weren't, like close. I show up 
so deeply blacked out. And it's like funny. I would pay to see you blacked out. It is like, I would legit upsetting. Like I'm such a path of destruction and it's not like cute. And I would be like slapping you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like putting you in a headlock and I'm just like, I'm also like nasty. Like if you look at me, I won't do it to my girlfriends, like my homies. But if you like, one girl once complimented me on my shirt and I was like, if you ever talk to me again, I'll end you. And she was like, what? Yeah. No, like so scary. Like I'm nasty. Wow. I was, I was low key pretty Were you mean? Not mean. Um, more so sloppy and would fall asleep everywhere. Like that's I, what I wanted to be though. I wanted to fall asleep and not be blackout. Well, it was a problem when you're my friends are taking me to the box in New York City. And like you're asleep. I'm asleep in the middle of the show. The box they had to like carry yeah. me, take me to the manager's office at the box in New York City. I had to sleep in the manager's office, like fall, like being what is it narcoleptic? Mm-hmm. It was literally a narcoleptic blackout. Wow. And it's because I would li- literally drink myself into oblivion where I wouldn't be conscious. It's like I just remember being so envious of people <laughs> like that because I was just trying to picture myself sleeping in the manager's office. Like it's box. so crazy. Like I can see that for you. I can <laughs> I can see you being really like nice though when you're drunk too, like I was. making friends with everyone. I was. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why this I follow where... over a thousand people on Instagram. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Gonna have to clean that up soon. It's for okay. sure. I'm like, yes, we all get the best friends. Houses. And then I get offended when they like unfollow me years later. No, because literally. Because I'm mad. Um, but anyways, I just like ruined this girl's party that I haven't seen in so long. Yeah. Um, absolutely ruin it. I and I take a thing of cranberry juice and I'm like oh. chugging it and it gets all over my white dress. And everyone's just like, it's not like funny, everyone's like Oh, Ooh. like she's like actually like really embarrassing. Oh no! And then I made out with like the weirdest guy there, no. the guy that everyone was like, "Dude, who invited this guy?" No, like that type of thing. Um, oh, no. And then I was throwing up all night. So I guess you could say you could play. say I rang in that New York. Or, <laughs> and then I woke up in her bed, and you know when you're like really drunk and you wake up and you're like, "Ha, nice nap. Let's get back to the party." Yeah, of course. So I like woke up being like, "All right, where's the party?" And it's like the morning and I go downstairs and there's still some people from the party there and they are like horrified to see me and I don't know these people (laughs) and they were like you were wasn't it the worst when someone would go you You were were really really bad and I'm like no Um, that gives me so much anxiety oh my god yeah do you even remember what we talked about last night they're like you don't remember and I'm like of course not and don't tell me yeah um yeah, wow. I haven't had someone say that to me in like four years. That's so crazy. That is crazy. I know. Crazy. I, I kind of love it. I love waking up and like Thank being the one God. that says it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're so evil for that. I like coddle people. I'm like, you, were, you weren't that bad, even if they were atrocious. No, I, I'll, I'll be real with my friends because if I start to see yeah. some tendencies that are like messy, I'm like, girl, fix your shit. Yeah. Because you, you need an honest friend. As much as that hurts, what, what like me not telling someone that what they did, it's like... Yeah. Oh, you don't want to hear it? Then don't do it. Yeah. I feel like none of my friends anymore do that. Yeah. Like <laughs> all mine do. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't me like shading at all. Oh, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. like I feel like I only hang out with sober people. Mm, I'll get there. Nah. Once I make all my friends go sober. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep, um keep the friends. Um Okay, so do we have a game that we wanted to play? Yeah, uh literally would you rather? And let me ask you a question right now. Okay. Would you rather have your arms for legs and legs for arms or not know the difference between a muffin and a baby? <laughs> and here's the thing. What's funny about that? Because it's serious. <laughs> it's been heavy. Wait, on my would mind. I rather have legs Ar- as my arms and arms as your legs or not know the difference between a muffin and baby? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You could eat a newborn baby. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> I hate when I ask people that and they're immediately like, obviously a muffin and a baby. And I'm like, no, you don't know. You could literally eat someone's baby. You're sick. No, but listen, listen. I am not a huge muffin girl. So. God, that's good. I'm not, I'm not gonna go for the muffin baby. You really got Because not there. only do I not really give it too many shits about newborn babies. Love them. Great. You're so real. For you that. know what I'm like? For me personally, like I don't have an interest in having one. Did I freeze my my junk? Absolutely. If I want babies in the future. Am I happy for my friends that have babies? Absolutely. No. Am I personally interested in a newborn baby or muffins? Not really. So you'd pick the muffin? Yeah. 
Is that something you've had in the, your back pocket? Isn't I it? say that. I try to say that to every person I like meet <laughs> to suss them out. <laughs> um, would you rather not know the difference between water and vodka? Mm, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> yes. It's a free lapse. You were so funny today. <laughs> would you rather not know the difference between water and vodka or not know the difference when you're gonna <laughs> would you not would you rather not know the difference between water and vodka mm-hmm. or every time you burp the burp is actually a fart out of your mouth and it's like the stinkiest most smelliest fart Does it make it's like a it, fart even sound? like when you like do like a little like in a, in an uber like when you try to hide it even when you open your mouth it's like silent but deadly fart like like egg not egg wait does it make a sound no it's even like when you like just do like a little I burp all the time. I know. Dude. That's why I asked you that. <sighs> that was good. Um, and but every time you're thirsty, it's a fifty-fifty chance. You don't know. If does it's it count water. as a relapse if I didn't know? Because I'm thinking about like I'm in bed with a guy and I. Like, I didn't do say a sparkling burp. water, so you can like, you could you could suss out your options of different ways to hydrate. So yes, it could be it could be a relapse. You could be getting IVs, Fuck. but you you personally can't tell. But every time, if you, if you if you choose the burp option, every time you burp, you could have a little peppermint in your mouth. It might suss things down, or it might like slow like things peppermint down. Peppermint and egg, though. I'm choosing vodka, and I don't care what people say that it is. I don't care if people say that it's a relapse. I'm sorry, I don't want to. Burp farts. <laughs> and not many do. <laughs> and not many um, do. Yeah, I think I'm just going to relapse. <laughs> I'm like, just You're like, in actually, general. No, in general, <laughs> actually, I, I really do think that. Um, yeah, I'm just no, but relapse. honestly, though, I will say, I, I would pay big money to just like see a video of like a theoretical world of me and you frolicking around drunk. Like, I really would love to know what it would what, look what like. What would we be like? Hmm. Like, pre-falling asleep drunk. Like, like just like Do you happy. think you'd be pressuring me to do drugs? Were you that yeah, type? I wouldn't have to pressure you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're also a drug addict, my friend. <laughs> um, I feel like, here's the thing. I would be on the dance floor and I'd be, like, yanking you around. And I'd be like, come over here. And then you would, like, probably yell at me. And the Uber would, is here. Yeah. Get in the Uber. <laughs> And then we would both cry and then make up and then I'd be fighting a petite blonde. Do you think that we'd fight a lot? Like maybe low key because I feel like. Oh, why? Because we fought once this week. (laughs) (laughs) If we're drunk because I'm nasty and if you get nasty and we're both six feet. That's an even brawl. And like, let me tell you, when I'm drunk, I don't want the spotlight. I demand it. Ooh. Whether you like it or not. Right. And I feel like you like the spotlight, too, when you're drunk. I mean, I'm just assuming. <laughs> Last week, yeah, yeah. you saw. <laughs> right. <laughs> At Barney's, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 Barney's. Um, so I feel like maybe we'd brawl and then make up and then, like, laugh about it the next morning, but also cry. I have another would you rather. Okay. Okay. Would you rather... <laughs> okay, you've probably heard this one before, but I'm going to ask you again. Would you rather... Watch your parents have sex every night okay. for the rest of your life. Okay, but they're divorced. Doesn't matter. Break up sex. <laughs> then divorce sex. Or you have to join in once. Oh, f- Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let that sink in. Oh but God. I'm telling you, you're watching to completion. So they both have to bust. I think after a certain... Can it be a video? No, you're in the room. But they don't live with me. It is a theoretical. <laughs> You're how in long, a how room. Long, how long are we saying? Thirty minutes. Sex. They both have to bust, and we don't know how long they take. <laughs> and no, t- <laughs> like you have to watch. Okay, so I'm not your joining. Dad in. I'm go- not joining in. Okay. I think after with most things in life, you kind of get desensitized. You're gonna watch your parents fuck every night. That's sick. You're joining in. Uh. Do you imagine the trauma that would leave you with? All those kinks that I have now, people slap me in the face. I'm probably going to want, like, ropes around my throat. Yeah. But, like, that's not a bad thing. I'm going to end up in the ER every time I have sex. 100%. (laughs) 
<laughs> if I join my parents, okay, but if, if you I watch join my them, parents, what? you're going to be like a creepy voyeur. But I'm. Uh, this is. This seems like there's a gun to my head that I have to choose one. I will eventually get desensitized. Like the way that everyone does, like, you know, like when you go to a vacation, you first get off the plane, everything's so amazing. It's like, oh, this is so glorious. Yeah. It's a two week trip. You're like on day 10. You're like, mm. all right. Well, this is getting old. I'm not saying that watching my parents is amazing. Yeah. Watching them is amazing, God. but it's like your, uh, your first initial intense emotions will dim down. Not me being a literal psychologist. I know. God. Um, okay. And I'll, and I'll, I will say there will be exceptions where, I will have to watch it on video because I might be traveling. It's not an option, so they have to come to you. <laughs> in the, <laughs> in the f four seasons. Exactly. Wow. So we also don't have a name for this segment again, but um, advice with the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That has a good <laughs> ring to it. Okay. So yeah, we I'm asked. Gonna, I'm going to like submit like a Wikipedia page for you and it's just going to be like, trans <laughs> activist Kate Lebrandios. <laughs> like we're going to make the whole world think. No, people think I am. Do people actually ask you? I've Well, I've seen some comments being no. like, wait, is she actually trans? No. I mean. Well, it's kind of the whole joke. So. Yeah. So at the end of the day. Trans activist. <laughs> right. Um, okay. So the first question of this segment is, I love a straight guy. And he's probably homophobic. The question, so the what question, is the, is okay. it an advice thing? Like, Well, yeah, it's like, I love a straight guy and he's probably homophobic. What should I do? So she's saying that she thinks she loves him. So she clearly doesn't care that he's homophobic. So why is she f***ing asking us? The next one is, any tips for a trans girly going on dates with straight men? I'm so scared at the moment, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Um, okay. Um, yeah. it's a difficult road, ladies. Um, my advice, I, I don't know how stealth you are or how you're meeting these men, but I am always honest about where I came from and what I've gone through to get to this, this form. Um, I'm open about it on dating apps, like in the bio, or if I meet someone in person and I get their number, I'll text them about it like that day. Yeah. I like to get it out of the way. Um, because it's not only like for my safety, it's just like, if it's going to be a problem, I need to know now. Yeah. If I'm not, if I'm going to like, and it's just, like, I'm not like the fishiest bitch in the world. Like obviously like some people are going to clock me, but I always, always... Am am upfront about it. Mm. I have to be. Have and you I, never not been? Never. 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 I because I I have friends that like aren't open about it. Mm -hmm. Um, especially my friends who get like post op surgery. It's like it's complete, and like I get that, and that doesn't mean that your transition is complete. You could have a complete transition without that mm -hmm. surgery being done. But um, it's very dangerous when people don't know. Um, especially if it's like someone who may be transphobic or may have violence within them that comes out when they drink or whatever. So it's like, I need to get this out of the way now. That's terrible. And any strong feelings that you may have, I'd like to know now. And if it doesn't work out, mm -hmm. and then go on the date. Like, just be yourself. I don't know. Yeah. Like, that's, the, there's really no, don't talk about being trans all the time. I will say that. Okay. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, <to> know. <laughs> don't, like, it doesn't need to be your entire personality. Like, get out of the way. And then be you. Because, mm -hmm. like, you are trans, but trans is not you. Not me being a philosopher. No, Aristotle. Because it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tiny part of you that, you know, made your identity who you are. Made your identity, you know, as, I don't know how to word this, but it made you become who you are. But then that allowed you to open up all the other avenues of who you actually are. Are you funny? Are you confident? Are you smart? Are you talented? Are you good at makeup? Are you, wh there's so many different qualities that make, that are like of substance. Mm -hmm. I personally like, I don't, when I'm on a date, I don't like talk about it too much. I'll talk about it on here because I'm just open, but it's not fully who I am. Like, yeah. Before that, I am, I sing, I write, I'm creative, I'm funny, I'm talented, I'm confident. Like, this that's not cocky on. for me to say that because no. I know that 
that's the tea. I'm all those things. Yeah. And maybe trans lats. <laughs> maybe. Okay, maybe trans before confident. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, it's like a pie, and that's just like a small piece of the pie. It's the crust. It's the crust. It's everything within it. Yeah. Is you. Oh, I love that. Right? Yeah. Okay, ready for the next one? No. Screaming. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry. Someone said, I dead ass want to marry my cousin. What do I do? Um, You do it. <laughs> you okay. Do. Would you hook up with like a stepbrother? Yes. But not mine currently. Yeah. No, no, no. no not yours. Like no. in, in in theory, if like, if that was like a situation, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. You know, okay. <laughs> my, my right. parent is going to marry your parent. I'm going to marry. Uh, That's how it should no, be. No, because it's beautiful. We can do a two in one wedding. That is beautiful. No, because literally. Okay. <laughs> I think I would. I'm talking to a guy and then he has a GF and he made me fall for him. What do I do? He has a girlfriend. That happens a lot. The guys do that a lot, especially to, tra- they to do- trans girls too, because they want like a dirty little secret. I only um, think dirty is their foreskin that they don't clean. <laughs> Can't deal with, an, with a dirty foreskin. You can I, actually I, say I that personally again. don't, not obsessed with um, uncircumcised penises. And honestly, that's a hot take because I feel like everyone is. Really? I I can, uh, I'll be fine with it if you are extremely hygienic. But and it's I've not had, that hard to wash it. It's not. I don't have one, but I would assume that it's not too difficult to get under the skin. <laughs> Correct, right? Well, yes. Well, um, yes. I just, if you're gonna, if you're gonna continue your life with, you know, the extra flaps, if you will. Mm. Do an extra squirt of dove. I beg. Head and shoulders. Knees and toes. <laughs> that, of course. <laughs> I love that. Um, so that wasn't even the question. <laughs> what was it? It was, I fell for a guy, and then I found out he has a GF. You got, you have to Cut get that someone off. to get over someone. Yeah. Or tell him to go f*** himself. No, for real. Because I've been in this predicament, and let me tell you one thing, and one thing for damn sure, all it's going to do is make you feel like shit about yourself. Yeah. No matter what, no matter what, you gotta cut it off and you gotta threaten him. Blackmail. What? Yeah. I absolutely. will tell your girlfriend if you don't. No, literally. No, Send li- me this money or else I'm gonna tell your girlfriend about us. But, but make sure course. to take pictures of you two like in bed together. Ring before. camera, whole nine. Yeah. One time I had a white elephant. I got a white elephant. I got an Apple Watch to to donate to the white elephant. And you know how you can like you like judge from the um what it's packaged in. Mm-hmm. So like, if it looks like an iPhone box, people are like, oh, it must be an iPhone. Yeah. So I got an Apple Watch box and that was when they were like really popular. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, people are going to clock that. So I bought a ginormous cucumber. <laughs> and I, t- I took the Apple Watch out of it, set no. it up, wrapped it around the cucumber, wrapped it up. All the boys thought it was like a huge dough. So nobody... They were like, I want it. And then all the girls were like, slay, slay. And they were passing around this cucumber. And then my friend at the end opened it. And all the guys were freaking out because it was like this new, it was like the best album. Oh watch. my gosh, that's genius. Yeah. Wait, um, but do you have a weird gift that you've given? A weird gift I've given? Um, or like received? It's definitely not a cucumber with an Apple Watch. Around. No, I like gave an ex boyfriend like a printed out. A dry hand job. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, thank you. Um, no, just like a printed out like nude picture of me. And he was like, well, what's what's the point of this? Well, and I was like, you're a hater. Is there anything? I think I'll, we'll close this out with this. Is there anything sexually that you've, you haven't tried, but you're like too afraid to try? A threesome? I haven't think... done, I haven't done a threesome either. I've done a foursome. What? Yeah. Wait, that's like a step up. Ended just... with blood all over the pillows. Not kidding. Okay. wasn't me. So wasn't, you're going to need to explain. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> what happened? The person, the guy that was with us, he like was making out with one of the girls and he was like biting her lip and he bit it too hard. She started spewing all, Shut over, the pillow, all over my pillows. It was in my bed. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, so did you like do the whole thing or did you guys stop? We after? stopped. It was, there was blood everywhere. Okay. So you like had half a foursome. Yes. Yes. Well, so, wait, but but yours is a threesome. Why? Why is that? There's scary just for like you? so much stigma, and also like third I, wheel vibes. A third wheel, and I'm like, I don't want. I don't think that a man deserves to be with two women at the same time. I feel like he would be like too happy. You know what I mean? Mm. And then if it's like two men, 
I feel like a piece of meat. Two men would be so hot for me. It would be, but I'm like, I just like don't know. If really I have to that. get into my like, my like. And would it be with two people that you know or two like complete strangers? Ooh, I would love like two strangers. Yeah, but it's like, how does like how do condoms work during threesomes? Like, do people wear them? <laughs> you know, like that's the thing. I'm like, we have to use protection, but like, how do we do that? And it's like too much. We got real like gruesome in this episode. I know. We I, really oh, we're went being, all out. Yeah, we're being more like open about what we talk about, but it's kind of scary. It's, it's terrifying. Revealing the real us. I just like forget that people are gonna see this. I know. Well, we can always cut it, but I don't want to. At all. It's just us. Like we're grown women. Yeah. We're gonna be doing these things. I'm but sick of, of only men talking about it. I know. Well, so shut up. I love you. I'm. I'm you sorry too. for our. Uh, our our mid our mild our ghost. squabble yeah our squabble <laughs> it brought us closer yeah it did bring us closer well we're yeah. back and we're better than ever um, guys be sure to follow us on our socials they are in the description 